gambling, gambling. That's another vice. There's a few more here on this list, but there's a couple that it's like I don't feel like it really ties in. Um, gambling, uh, gambling, and lottery tickets. When we think of gambling, many of us probably think of slot machines, Las Vegas, and card games. But gambling comes in many different forms and fashions. 50% of people gamble at least once per week. Approximately 3% of people meet the criteria for the problem. You know, and again, it's almost like an endorphins release. It's that rush, you know, um, you know that, that, that instant gratification, um, the thrill, you know, um, and it can be addictive. And it, it just comes down to, you know, when you're not waking up and feeling fulfilled, you do these other synthetic equivalents and versions of trying to chase fulfillment, you know. Um, you know, it, it's, it's something that you can, from sometimes, from the comfort of your house, you can gamble. Um, you're chasing this rush, this fulfillment. You can just gamble in your house. If you win, yes, you're on a high. But then once you win and you're on a high, you want to win again. It's just like the alcohol. It's just like if you're smoking drugs, you know, and then you become gluttonous with it. And then once you're depressed and you, you're lacking motivation, then you act sloth-like. But then you want more money so you can feed your gambling habit, so you act greedy. And then when people try to tell you about it, then you act prideful. Do you see how through one vice, you're triggering off a few of these other vices? You know? And another one that kind of leads into this is lust. You know, 